Good morning. Did you see my regen snow incident video? What happened was I was driving in the snow and I was coming up on a stop sign. I got, let my foot gently off the gas pedal and this car started to spin, at which point my instincts kicked in. I removed my foot completely because I learned to drive in the days when you got off the gas and coasted and tried to steer out of a spin. And that just accelerated it and I ended up in the ditch. Well, I asked for comments and I got a bunch of interesting ones. One of them was asking me for advice, so I'd like to address that up front. In this video, I may sound like I'm giving advice. I'm really not. I haven't driven that much in the snow. There are people in Canada and Norway that have driven, you know, thousands of miles in the snow, and I'm lucky if I've gotten 10 or 20. So don't take anything I say with a grain of salt. But uh, one of the other comments, which was really interesting, was that there's some gentleman that discovered there is a special mode that the car goes into when it notices the wheels are slipping and he called that snow mode. So I wanted to check that out on my car and see if it was there. Now, keep in mind that I have a Model Y um, dual motor. So if you have a rear motor car, this video is probably not gonna to apply to you unless you're just interested in these things. But I have a dual motor car. So I went and got the equipment, the links will be below so that I could monitor the power going to the front wheels and the rear wheels. So let's get started by looking at what Tesla says about their traction control. Right here it says the traction control system constantly monitors the speed of the front and rear wheels. If Model Y experiences a loss of traction, the system minimizes wheel spin by controlling brake pressure and motor power. By default, the traction control system is on. So obviously something didn't work right. Uh, regen threw me into a spin. Notice that it minimizes wheel spin by controlling brake pressure and motor power. It didn't mention controlling regen. So if you look further in the manual, you'll notice a warning that says in snowy or icy conditions, Model Y may experience loss of traction during regenerative braking. So how does the Model Y allocate power between the front wheels and the rear wheels normally? Well, the rear motor is more efficient than the front motor. So this shouldn't have surprised me, but it did. But almost all your power comes from the rear motor. Um, when you're accelerating moderately, it'll bring in a little bit of the front motor, give a little power to the front motor. When you're really punching it, as we'll see here, it, it brings in a lot of the front motor. But normally, it just powers the rear motor because that's more efficient. During regen, it regens almost exclusively off the rear motor, as you'll see in these clips. Well, let's now look at off-road assist. And let's look at what Tesla says about it in the manual. It says it's designed to provide overall improvements when driving off-road. In addition to allowing the wheels to spin, now we'll come back to that later, off-road assist balances the torque between the front and rear motors to optimize traction. When off-road assist is on, the accelerator pedal provides more gradual torque, which is useful for crawling at low speeds you can engage in most other modes in the car you can't engage while you're moving you can engage off-road assist while you're moving by the way so that gradual torque feels like the pedals gotten heavy so if you engage it the pedal will feel heavier so let's look at what off-road assist does it's essentially I think from lo looking at the instrumentation here it really does balance both in regen and power the front wheels and the rear wheels it did say in the description that it allows the wheels to spin. So I did get some incidents where the wheels did feel like they were spinning, but oh my gosh, so much more solid than what I call snow mode one. So I would call this four wheel drive. Four wheel drive pretty much just allocates it equally to between front and back. And if you look at these clips, you'll see that's pretty much what this is doing. But boy, it feels rock solid. I wouldn't have any problems at all uh, driving this in the snow in off-road assist. I should also mention that in these tests that you've seen, I usually take it up to speed and then I come full off the pedal so that I get full regen. 
Uh, in this instance here, I believe I actually try and steer during the regen. Let's see. Yep, yep. And it was really solid. We go, we go around the corner here, and I try and kick it out a little bit to see if I can get the rear end to slide. And it, it was solid as a rock, no problem at all. Same thing here. I accelerate into the turn, trying to punch it out a bit, and once again, solid as a rock. Then there's what I'll call snow mode one. It notices that your wheels have slipped, either through braking or acceleration. It brings in front wheel regen braking instead of all of it being in the rear. It still primarily uses the rear wheel for drive. So that would mean more efficient driving, but it also allows for some squirreliness. I'll let you listen to these clips and see what you think. So let's see what it does on regen. Yeah, it does even the regen more. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of this. And I'm not sure it no, it's real good about telling when it's in snow mode. It feels sketch. It really does. Then we have what I may call snow mode 2. And it might not be a separate mode at all. It might just be a different way it's reacting. But for like 5 or 10 minutes during my drive, it acted like smart four-wheel drive. It was bringing a lot more of the regen to the front wheels. It was bringing a lot more of the power to the front wheels than the normal snow mode did. And it felt more solid. This mode acted a lot more like the snow mode that Bourne points out in his video. I suspect what I've been calling snow mode one is just traction control doing its normal thing. And this is what Bjorn was calling snow mode. But just for reference, I'll continue to call this snow mode two for the rest of the video. I kicked the rear out a little bit there, but my gosh, not much at all. And I was trying to. Yeah, it's definitely gone into something here. Yeah, look at that. Balancing the rear and the front. Yeah, snow mode's a thing. I just don't know how to tell you to get into it for sure. There is one other thing I should mention. There's a track mode that's available for those of you with performance cars that's allows you to modify the stability control, traction control, and regenerative braking. Um, so in theory, I, I don't have this, so I can't test it, but in theory, you could turn off regenerative braking entirely and set the track mode up to act like a four-wheel drive car. There is this one little caveat, though. If you go down further on the page, you can see that they clearly warn you against using this on public roads. So not intended for that purpose, but it would have been fun to try. What are my takeaways from well, if snow mode 2 is really a thing, and it looks like it is, and it's actually off-road assist with smarts, then that would be my preference. I actually made a comment, and I didn't put it in the video, that um, it felt a little bit more solid to me than off-road assist did. The problem is I don't know how to get into it. So without knowing how to do that consistently, and without having any indication on the screen that it's activated, then I'm just going to go for the sure bet and I'm going to go for off-road assist. It felt rock solid. Uh, I would have no problems recommending that as somebody's snow strategy mode. The second thing I would recommend, and perhaps the most important, is if you're ancient like I am and you grew up learning to not get on the brakes when you start a slide, reverse that thinking. Go out and practice and get on ABS if you start to slide and let ABS do its job. Ironically, I went and starting to slide out in the exact same spot that my original video was from. But this time I got on the brakes and ABS did its job and I was able to steer right out of it. ABS is definitely a different system than traction control. So let the time proven ABS system save your butt if you start to slide. What I wish Tesla would do would be to give us an 
button for snow mode if it is indeed different than off-road assist. If it's not, then change the manual and let us know so that we can use off-road assist as our snow. I also wish there was an indication on the screen so that we knew what boat we were in. So those are my thoughts for what it's worth. Uh, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. Until next time, take care.